We have two abortion death anniversaries today, February 19th, one of them legal and one of them illegal. And first we'll look at the legal abortion death. A young woman named Magnolia was a 35-year-old mother of two when she went to Head Surge Center in Chicago for an abortion to per be performed by Dr. Rudolf, Rudolf Moran, M-O-R-A-G-N-E. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, Moran. So um, he failed to detect that this was actually an ectopic pregnancy rather than a uterine pregnancy. Went ahead, did the abortion anyway, uh, evidently didn't check the tissue he removed to see if the fetus was there. Uh, the undiagnosed ectopic pregnancy ruptured. Uh, Magnolia was rushed to the hospital, but she died from blood loss and shock. Now, I don't want to sound like victim blaming. This isn't victim blaming. I just want to point out this was Magnolia's third abortion, and multiple abortions are a known risk factor for ectopic pregnancy. So there should have been a high suspicion going in with this being her third abortion that this pregnancy would be in her tube and not in her uterus. So I fault the doctor for that additional reason for not detecting this. And it's also interesting that though in theory, a woman who chooses an abortion should be less likely to die of an ectopic pregnancy complication because she's going to the doctor, she's getting examined. Uh, women who choose abortion are actually more likely to die uh, than women who are intending to carry the pregnancy to term. And that's because when the women are suffering the pain from the tube getting ready to rupture, they attribute it to symptoms of the abortion and everybody around them thinks that this can't possibly be a pregnancy because they had an abortion. And if it had been in the tube, the doctor would have noticed that. So it's got to be something else that's causing this problem. So it doesn't get detected as soon and treated as promptly and adequately as if uh, the woman doesn't have an abortion where the immediate thing that they suspect with lower abdominal pain is an ectopic pregnancy. Now, the illegal abortion death anniversary today is a 35-year-old German-born homemaker named Ida who died at St. Elizabeth's Hospital in Chicago. And... Uh, she died of septicemia from an abortion performed earlier that day, according to the Homicide in Chicago Interactive Database, which sometimes is uh, inaccurate, but that's the best information I have. And a midwife whose name is alternately given as Maggie or Madeline Motna was arrested for her death, but I haven't found any signs that there was any prosecution for that. And in Chicago at the time, uh, midwives performing abortions was a very common thing. It was pretty much doctors and midwives.